Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Postman Pax and the Greendale Rocket. We are now on the fifth and last level of the game, and we need to find Mrs. Goggins again. But on the way, we need to hit some switches, grab some collectibles, and try not to fall in the water one last time. We could have done it there, for all we know. But by hitting that switch up there, we are able to use these inner tubes as moving platforms. They actually start moving. And we can get over this pool. We quickly hit a continue point, and it doesn't seem like there's any use for Jess yet. We can move this clothes hamper to the right here, and we can take that platform up with the help of the clothes hamper, but there is that tunnel there that we have to deal with. So now that we're playing as Jess, we need to go in there and whoa. Looks like your platforming skills are going to be put to the test in a very crowded space. You want to make sure that the platforms you're leaping to and from are very close to each other. That way you don't fall in the water and you don't get sent back to the next check, the last checkpoint you were at to, my bad. There's that switch, it activates the bridge straight above, and we are finally able to really do something once we leap on that clothes hamper, get on that moving stone platform, and continue on our merry way. Now that we're taking the bridge, we can hit another checkpoint, and we can pick up some more collectibles. I'm going to leap off the left edge because I did not know where the water was. But it really didn't matter. We would have landed on solid ground either way. Now we have some more platforming above some water to do here. And when we leap on the stationary platform, it will take us all the way to the right. We can just walk off the edge to the right and trigger the next checkpoint. You won't be able to reach those platforms, so just drop down. Here you'll find Jess. You'll have no choice but to use Jess to activate some switches. But don't activate this first one. Instead, jump over the first one and go through the bush here to find some more easy to miss stuff and hit the second switch to do basically what the first switch would have done. Had you triggered the first switch, you would have returned control back to Pat and you wouldn't have gotten those easy to miss collectibles. We will be going to those stamps down there later. For now, we will leap onto the stationary platform and you don't want to mess this up because once you leap on the stationary platform, it takes you to the houses. Well, you mess this up and you fail to collect everything, you won't get a second chance. Thankfully, moving around and getting everything up there is pretty easy for the most part. And once we land on solid ground again, we're going to go to the left, and this is back to where we left off. And that's it. So we might as well just go ahead and head all the way back to the right. Like how... Postman Pat just bobs his head like... <laughs> you know, like that. It's unintentionally fun, funny in some weird sort of way, but anyway. We need to use this clothes damper up here for something. We won't be able to move it to the left. But we do need it to move all the way to this red switch here. It seems like we're gonna miss Jess. You can definitely see her up in that house, but we won't. Triggering that red switch will allow that third stone platform to appear. 
and then we can take it and go up to that house. Now we can play as Jazz. And you need not leap to this stamp, but I do it anyway and then immediately move to the left to land on or near the hamper. You would have reached at the end of the Jess section anyway. Now there is a switch here, but don't jump on it just yet. Instead, jump over it, go through the bushes on the right to once again find an easy to miss parcel and letter. Now you can leap on the switch and grab the stamp that comes with it. Also say goodbye to Jess because that's the last Jess section of the game. From there, you can move Postman Pet all the way across those platforms to right there to trigger that switch. This allows this inner tube to move back and forth, and we can finally get all the collectibles. There's Mrs. Goggles there. I think that's her name. I forgot what her name was already. But anyway, the password. Present. Parcel. Present. Parcel. And after this, it will be time for level 5B, where you have to stamp the parcels and the letters. You have a minute 40 seconds to do 99, that's basically 100 seconds. And it starts out slow, just move the stamp onto a letter or a parcel and press A to stamp it. If you stamp a present, you will get a red X on the screen and you won't be able to stamp anything for a few seconds. As you keep doing this, the scrolling speed of all these things on the screen gets faster and faster. You can tell it's starting to get faster after about 20 something. Once you get about halfway through, it really starts getting fast. You can miss a few. You have more than enough time to do this in. And if it gets too fast, just keep pressing the A button over and over, being sure not to accidentally hit the stamp on the present so that you don't accidentally get stunned for a few seconds. And you should definitely have more than enough time to hit 99. And with this completed, we now have one last section of the game to deal with. Password is Pink Flower, Jess, Postman, Pat, and Parcel. Now we need to find the Greendale Rocket, which means we have to drive all the way to the end one last time. This is where your driving will definitely be put to the ultimate test, and the puddles of water are now replaced with oil slicks. Same hazard, different color. Doesn't do anything different from the water. It just slows you down tremendously as long as you're in it. Now about halfway through you're going to reach a fork in the road. You want to take the bottom route every single time. Otherwise you will go through that oil there and it will slow you down tremendously. And unless you've been driving very, very well, that oil will kill your run and you'll more than likely have to start all the way back over. With that though, it shouldn't take you too long to reach the end. You'll barely have enough time to make it there, but you will eventually make it. Just be sure not to run into the oil slicks and you should be just fine. And here we are right at the end. We have finally completed this last section and we have driven to the Greendale rocket. We now have the fifth and final mystery item the bag of mail because there's a Royal Mail car for a caboose back there on the Greendale rocket which means we can now deliver mail by train the Greendale rocket has been repaired all the inhabitants are waiting for this great moment The Greendale Rocket is back on track. The end. What a great story. And that is it. Digitize pictures from the episode of the show and all. And we are now back at the main menu of the game. I'm going to go to the options and then go to the credits and we'll see the small group of people within all of these 
companies that helped make the game together. See all of their names. So, how does this game stack up? Well, it is for little kids. I can't be too hard on it. It does what it does. You can recognize all the characters of this wonderful, interesting series that has been around since like the early 80s at least. The game has some wonderful music and sound effects. Really love the music in this game. The game controls alright. I didn't have a problem with the controls and all, and that's a good thing. You should never have the, any problems with the controls in a kid's game. I did have to learn how to do the kite flying thing a few times though, but I eventually got through that as well. And would I play this again? Well, I would play this again if I had an hour to kill. Other than that, there's really no reason for me to play it again. But it is a fun game. It's a fun, easy game meant for really little kids that still merits a place in the Game Boy Advance game collection that you probably have somewhere. And so, that concludes Let's Play Postman Pat and the Greendale Rocket for the Game Boy Advance. Hope you enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed making it. Hopefully I'll be back with another game. I don't know what it's going to be. Hopefully it'll be a good game. Maybe a bad game. Maybe a mediocre one. Who knows? Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe, thanks for watching, and see you guys later!